The year is 1893. A 12-year-old boy from Germany loses his parents. He inherits a little money from them, which is later stolen while he is traveling. Despite losing everything, he retained... Hello friends, this is small tutorial on how to use any object and create and uh, using trackmat we can create a transition from one scene to another scene one of the subscriber commented that he didn't get it properly so i'm making this small tutorial and again i will demonstrate how to do it all right so you want to understand and how to transit from this scene to another scene where we have used this object or the image and we have used the trackmat to transition from the one scene to another scene where there is a no uh, residue of the previous scene is visible like this image is uh, behind this layer but it is not getting visible in the uh, this previous scene similarly this previous scene's assets are not visible in this second scene so how to do that it is very simple we have to use this object and we have to use trackmat and through the trackmat we can hide the layers and so that it can only be visible in the this second scene and we can smoothly transition i will be bringing this breakdown tutorial very soon but before that let me uh, clear this doubt of my subscriber so let's have new composition whatever setting you wish to have all right then we have this uh, nice background here all right convert it to 3d so this is background then this uh, this is the boy all right we are not going to use much uh, this object only convert it to 3d boy also all right then let's add new camera 35 mm and let's make 1.2 we click ok so we have this boy and this camera now we are going to control the camera using the null object so add null object don't uh, forget to convert it to 3d otherwise it will not work and parent this camera with the null object so now this camera will be controlled by the null so and so far good okay now we are, we will be moving this scene to another scene you can move on any side either this side this side up or down on any side you can move so press p for the position and add initial keyframe and then around 3 or 4 seconds we are moving to the another scene here all right now again come back to this scene okay so now uh, let's change to two view and we will set this background uh, just like here around here and let's scale it so i'm not uh, going to talk detail about this 3d scene etc because I expect that you must know how to set 3D scene. Alright, and this is our boy. Let's scale it. So this is the initial setup and you must know how to do it. Alright, now we are going to use this uh, uh, layer. This uh, cross sectional of the line. This is the layer we are going to use as a cross transition. Let's convert it to 3D. Press S and scale it. Uh, Alright, so this is here. Let's... Uh, bring it forward so whatever the layer you are uh, using as a transition they should be in the at the top or in this sequence so this is this uh, layer that we are going to use as a transition it should be on the top then our boy and this is the background all right so it should be a top all right then you can scale it down if you wish if it is big then you can scale it down just like this all right so we have this kind of transition all right then you can adjust this layer just like this now we can bring slightly backward so adjust accordingly all right so now it's look proper so now it looks proper okay now we are adding the another thing okay before that let's add a video file sky uh, let's add this sky layer convert it to 3d and let's take it further back over here 
All right, this is good. You can even scale it down if it is very big. This much is good. So if you see this, uh, when you move to the second scene, this weird projection of the previous scene is visible. So the purpose of TrackMate is to hide this layer. But to do that, you have to be very careful. Okay, so let's. Uh, 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 this is the second keyframe. Let's. Uh, use our null and let's move it further this one this much so that our this object which we are going to use as a trackmate is just disappear from the second scene okay even you can select keyframe and press f9 for easy so we have this transition now from first scene to second scene but the objects are visible so for that what we will do we will use the trackment okay so let's create the second scene where there is this uh, uh, this is the background all right convert it to 3d uh, then this is the boy that we are going to use so also add that convert it to 3d okay now let's add this uh, just uh, adjust the scale of this background let's make it small let's uh, bring it down right then we have this boy let's scale it down okay and also bring it over here again scale it down so we have this object that we are going to use as a transition is here then our boy is here all right so far so good then this is the background so just take it slightly like this all right when we are going to create this depth it is needed okay then take it down just like this all right and let's scale it all right and scale this down this boy all right so like this okay so we have this layer and this layer but you can see that there is a projection of the this second layer uh, second scene into the first scene okay so it is a kind of weird so now how to use the proper track mate so that it is not visible so you must remember that whatever you are uh, using as a track mate this object here this one so this should be let's make it yellow so you can see it easily it should be here on the top of that and rest of the layer should be below it all right this is the left view let us put it in a top view okay so that you can see it so this is this is here then this is our uh, background then this is our boy and this is the background of the previous scene all right so in this manner okay now the second scene is having this background but it is not behind this but it is like it is over here all right so remember that okay and this is the boy so click on this draft 3d all right make sure that you have selected this extended view otherwise click it okay so we have this scene complete scene okay now come somewhere around here so that you can easily see this object which we are going to use as a transition now without selecting any layer if you, you have selected layer press make sure to press f2 so it will deselect all the layer then select this pen tool and you can have any color fill solid stroke to no uh, stroke to none okay and fill to solid you can select any color and then just draw this mask simple mask we are drawing okay so whatever color then convert it to 3d let's go rename it as mat okay let us stay organized then press p for the position then also press p for the position for this uh, object or the image which we are going to use as a transition now this mat and this cross sex uh, this image they should be in the same plane in the same position like this position 960107 and 20 XYZ position. So what we are going to do, we are just selecting this position and control C copy it. Then again going to this mat, select the position and 
control v paste so we have pasted this position of this mat uh, we have position of this object image this cross section to this mat so they are in the same position now using this mask let us expand this mask so it should be half it should cover half of this object and half of this screen okay this screen above screen all right now let's off this draft theory okay now what we are going to do just we are using this as a track mate so select this boy and using this v player track mate make sure you have selected this alpha mate and it is inverted okay then again select this background and again track mate it with this matte layer and alpha mate selected all right now you can see that there is a uh, this previous uh, layers which has been disappeared from the first scene similarly so uh, there is a problem so what we can do uh, little bit adjustment we have to do okay so we have to adjust this layer okay this this layer should be above this the previous background so this is the previous background this is the previous background and this is the second background so the second background should be above the previous background otherwise it will be projected and trackment will not work so this like this all right so we have now smooth transition between this one scene to another scene all right then rest of the thing that i have done is that i have created this uh, mask over this uh, i have created mask over this uh, this object so make it and then use this uh, mask option this mask feather to make it smooth eh? otherwise it will look sharp and weird so to just to make it uh, smooth i have added the mask over this object so you can do that also otherwise it is simple so finally this is how it will look hope this will clarify your doubt regarding how to use the object and creating this trackmate transition from one scene to another thank you